Today, we were on a mission to fish the three most unusual waterways near our house. So far, we had tried in the spooky tunnel underneath a motorway where I caught absolutely loads. Then we visited a tiny ditch where I pulled out a surprise perch. And now it was time to head to the last location of the day. To be honest, that's the only reason why I bring you with me is to film and to open the gates. Oh yeah, I knew that anyway. Thank you. We are on our way to the last spot of the day. Only gonna have about half an hour worth of fishing at this last location, but we'll see how it goes. The weather's getting pretty horrible now. The rain's coming down, which isn't ideal for the filming, is it? It's not fun. But it's good weather for ducks. And the fish don't mind the rain. No, they're, all, they're, they're wet already. And I got my dry core corder jacket. <laughs> which will keep me dry and warm. In all seriousness, you can win this jacket and this trousers, not the ones I'm wearing, obviously, but you can win them. Just be subscribed to our channel, leave a comment down below. We'll pick a winner at random. Cheers, Corda, for supporting our channel and giving free stuff to our viewers. We like that. We like that a lot. It's cool, isn't it? I just love this place. I bet I catch one. It used to be like first cast every time you get one. Nope. <laughs> oh. oh, that was a trout. That was a trout, I saw it. Oh, I stole my bait. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a roach. <laughs> wow, man. That didn't take long. First fish from this pool is a roach. I used to just catch chub here. I used to, I'm sure I used to catch chub. I had a koi here once. But um, yeah, first bite. Is a little roach. That's actually really shallow. Yeah, you can throw that. Oh, there we go. It's a brown trout. Mate, the colors on this fish are crazy. cute little thing. <laughs> one day that will grow into a fish like the one I caught earlier. That's a bit better. A lot of people do say, don't go back to, what do they say? <laughs> <laughs> people then, say like, don't meet your heroes. And then they say, don't, don't go, go back, back to, to old memory. Old good memory. Yeah, yeah. But today, in essence, I've done exactly that. I've come back to a place that I used to fish when I was still at school. Somewhere that I have, loads of good memories of. Lovely pond. I think it's the only pond in the area that isn't frozen over. Uh, I used to catch all sorts. In particular though, there was this little group of yellowy, orangey, no, they were like orange and black, I think they were, the koi. Uh, 
Uh, there's only there's only a handful of them of them down here, but I managed to catch a couple. Sadly, I've lost a lot of the uh, of the old footage of me and my friends fishing down here when our old YouTube channel was uh, was lost. All those old videos were were gone basically. But it's still quite cool to be back here after so long. Oh, there's a perch. Perch. A bit of a downgrade from that one I caught earlier. Although this probably isn't the best fishing spot I know of anymore, and we've gone to far better places during our time making these YouTube videos, it is still one of the most interesting. Quite a surreal looking spot, and the old architecture behind me um, is quite distinctive too. I certainly love fishing down places like this, places that are a little bit unusual, places that you wouldn't normally think of fishing, even if the fish aren't very big, it's still quite entertaining to, to see what lives in these sort of small waterways. Oh, there's a bite. Yep, we've hooked up, we've hooked up. What is this? Oh, it's a trout. Nice, thanks Carl for letting me have a cast. Red spots are so vivid on this one. Looking back at that old footage of me fishing that very same pond like nine or ten years ago really made me realise just how far we've come with our filmmaking skills but also our understanding of angling. Back then we didn't really fish as much as we do now. We'd probably put out a video on our channel like once every two months or something. This year though has been completely different. We have fished so much. So much so that we have actually got quite a bit of footage that we haven't even shared with you guys yet. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna catch up with Alex on a session he did in the summer, I think it was, with a load of his mates down on the beach where they aim to catch and cook up their dinner. Okay, you all right? Okay, oh, this is so freaking wobbly compared to having one person. Oh yeah, yeah, you got a fish, yeah. we got a fish. Hey. No way, we have hooked up into a fish. We might be eating tonight. Ho ho ho! Nice. Not quite big enough for tea, but it's a bass. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah? Oh no. Oh no, no. Yeah. Okay, just stay calm. We don't, don't want to tip the boat. Yeah. No way. Is it bigger than the other one? Yeah, it's definitely okay. bigger. Okay. Whoa, Jim! Whoa. Thanks to Jim here, he managed to catch us a 43 centimetre bass, which means we can take it! Yeah, hey! It's bigger than the pan, boys. I want real reactions. I love the peas. So that was a great memory of the warmer months, but now we have got a long winter ahead of us. But we like to use the colder weather as an opportunity to target other species like perch and pike. And that's what we've been doing lately. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! I've got a bite! I've actually got a bite! Oh my goodness! Okay, you ready? Fish! Hey! <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> what a miracle. <laughs> we want one about 10 times bigger than that, ideally. We've really been enjoying our pike fishing down on the river lately. And although the floods have kind of put a spanner in the works and made it a little bit difficult for us to, to catch the fish we're after, if we manage to catch the monster in the local river, then uh, definitely keep your eyes out for a big pike video coming soon. In the meantime though, be sure to check out some of our other videos on screen now. Hope you enjoy them and we'll see you soon.